Here we have something a little different. Brings me back to my childhood. It's been 30 years since I touched one of these. Now, some of you may know what you're looking at. This is a Volkswagen based dune buggy, which a lot of them were. Um, back in the day, this, this one dates back to the 60s. I had one way after the 60s, a homemade based off of, uh, I think it was a Type 3 square back with Bosch electronic fuel injection. Yeah, that's coming back. This one's a little older. Probably Beetle. It's all basically the same stuff. Very similar. One would take a Volkswagen apart down to the floor pan, stiffen it up. You had the rear mounted air cooled engine on the back, and torsion bar suspension. And these things were amazing. A significant amount of ground clearance, even with the flat tire, there's still quite a bit. Um, what a blast. Growing up, running right out the backyard, and um, life goes on, we get older, and we get rid of this stuff. So now, I'm going to change part of my life here, trying to get a little bit better over this thing I have, and... Um, we we'll try and take on a project here, but I'm not going to be doing most of the work. My niece and nephew, and this will probably be run on their property when it's together and operating. So, get the brother-in-law involved and uh, get him over here and get him wrenching. So, we'll just get a little rundown of a couple things I see. Um, it's an early transmission. We need an engine. Uh, early transmission, I say that because this is, I think, a 6 volt starter, so the flywheel sizes are different between the 6 and 12 volt era engines. Uh, I think you can grind the bell housing to get the bigger flywheel in here and just have to make a change and change the starter, starter bushing, as far as I know. Um, I'm looking at the swing axles. One of them's a little horizontal and not all the way down. Usually with no weight on, these things are, you know, a tire are canted at an angle. Uh, I think this torsion bar in the back here, which is in this tube, I have to pull that apart. That would be the first thing that uh, we have to look at. down in there that string plate is not touching the stop there's like no weight on this thing that this should be hard on that stop <coughs> up in the air so we'll have to hopefully investigate that see what that turns into but yeah the transmissions here supposedly it's good fuel tank doesn't look too bad inside and uh, one would question what is this big cooling apparatus for well, air-cooled engines, um, good oil cooler, help them last longer. So that's probably what was rigged up here is an oil cooler. That's still sitting there after all these years. This was found a, in a barn, sitting 40 years. So go, uh, poor little thing. We're going to maybe hopefully bring it back. What else? We've got a bunch of... Let's see, steering's not connected. Rag joint. It's just laying there, you know, it's just kind of. We're going to get that fixed up. And uh, I'm sure the master cylinder is no good. I love. Oh, this is classic. What, go, what holds brake fluid best than a brake fluid container? That's what they used for the reservoir. 
that's that's some classic home engineering right there and then your pedal assembly you have to lube that all up get that working cables run through tubes to the back and clutch cable and throttle cable and uh, looks like this even had brake lights on it there's lights on the back it was all wired up and working let's see what else we can talk about here this rim looks like it took a shot oh have to see if we can bang that back in and notice the valve stem a little hard to see the lighting out here but the valve stems on the inside that's these old five bolt Volkswagen wheels back then with that large opening bolt pattern there you can reverse them turn them right around a little wider stance Normally the valve stem be on the outside, but this, these rims are on the other way around. Gives it a better look, a little wider stance. We've got a bent tie rod end, which is typical when you're whacking or something. So it's got a little toe out problem. We'll fix that up. Oh, okay. Yeah, back to the brake fluid container. That'll never hold fluid. The bottom fell out. <laughs> well, what else can we say? Oh, yeah. Crappy shifter linkage. I got a coupler back here that kind of needs some going over. And, uh, let's see, there's a battery tray over here. There's a bang wire and welded in. Guess we can live with this floor. It looks relatively solid yet. Oh, the pedal cluster. This is a really shortened wheelbase, narrowed foot box up here. The pedals are over by the passenger side. We're going to have to work on that so we can get two in here. Hmm, that's going to be interesting. A lot of times I get into things I don't fit anymore, and being six foot five. Well, this is for the kids, so I'm too beat up to be driving one of these. Sure, I'll try at least once. A couple extra fuel filters. They look like they've seen better days. And the nose of the transmission is typical with these. They put an extra strap over them. The mount is actually down on the lower portion of the transmission and it's typical that those break off so an extra strap added up over the top of it keep the nose of that transmission down because that wants to lift up every time you step on the gas as the pivot point is at the bell housing area which is one of the main mounts and then all the way the engine hangs off the back of that out in the space so but they worked they take a beating an old standard hardware or door hinge for gas pedal pivot nice a very busy dashboard hit the button and go at least we got oil pressure Hello in there. Well, we can clean that up a little bit. Menagerie. Stuck throw out brain. Hmm. Clutch linkage. That loop of cable is how much shorter this vehicle is from its original design. Looks like that's stuck too. We can fix it. Oh, I really 
I thought that was going to just crack. But, <laughs> fire it up. Oil's going to squirt. That's for sure. Something's moving there a little bit. The rear engine wants to go back even more. I wonder how the brakes are in there. And in there. I think this brake line's good for another 20 years. What do you think? Probably not. I don't think these retractors are going to retract again. If it don't go, chrome it. I think that's a 6V for 6 volts. I'm a sucker for slotted wheels. I get the kids down here and old brother-in-law and see what we can turn out and uh, I'll try and keep you guys uh, in the loop if you're interested. Leave a comment below and uh, thanks for watching.